guys, I'm with my buddy Eric here and we're gonna be doing a little work on his car in today's video. Um, all right, so we got the 01 E46 M3 here and um, I had these Corbo fixed back seats in there but the original seat brackets that came with them were kind of, uh, it's hard for the sliders to go in and out because of how the stock seat belt goes in there. So um, we got new brackets that should allow the sliders to work a lot better and also the goal is to track the car so i got these Schroth quick fit harnesses and they basically use all your stock seatbelt receptacles so it's super easy to just take them out when you're not going to use them or anything like that basically you just have this that stays in the car kind of like how it would be stock sticking out of the seat when you want to install the harnesses, the lap belt goes clicking in. And then the other side uses a stock seat belt receptacle as well. You just click that in. And same thing in the back. You just have this part that stays with the car. And then when you want to put the harnesses in for a track day or anything, just put everything back in. And this goes in the stock receptacle in the back. So this bracket that we're taking out just has four bolts holding it in. They are all 16 millimeter. So we'll just get those out. This side, just a nut. The fronts are two 16 nuts. this corner back. All right, last one is in the back corner here. Yeah, okay, so ahead. with the stock seat, your process would pretty much be the same as this. You remove these four bolts on the seat bracket. You get it on there. And then you'll find the stock harness underneath the car. That big socket and ratchet was too big, so we switched down to a socketing wrench. Right. This is the stock rear bolts. Pretty long. Alright, now comes the wiring harness underneath the seat. Since these are in already, um, I've already depinned the stock airbag um, plug in here. But if you have a stock seat, the process goes the same. You just pull this out and then your plug will come out. That's how it works. You kind of see it pop up if I pull that out. And then basically this just pops out. And now you can remove your seat out of the car. All right, we're just taking the seat out on the other side, but uh, while we're taking this out, Eric was just gonna show us in case you still have your stock set up and haven't depinned it, uh, what you would do here. Yeah, so if you're gonna run some sort of racing seats or something, you're gonna have to do this to get the occupancy sensors out of the stock seat. But it's like the other side, you pull this tab out and then the main harness out of the car comes off. But um, there is one pin in here, since I already have these seats and I've done it. But basically there's these little tabs that you lift up on each side, like that, so you just lift both of them up and then slide that top cover off and do this. There'll be another plug over here on your stock seat. And this is only if you're gonna do some sort of uh, racing seat. Um, but basically, once you have that cap off, any of these harnesses basically pull right out. So I'm keeping these two. These two are the ones that you'll keep for the stock seatbelt receptacle. That's it. 
notch. And then after you do all that, you just slide the cover back on. And there it is. All right, now with those seats out, we have a lot more room so we can get easier access to back here where we're going to be uh, putting some things we'll need for the harness. All right, so now we're installing the um, clip that you need for the Schroth quick fit harness. And uh, you basically use the stocks mounting points for the seat belt in the back. So we're just going to take the rear seat off and all you do is grab it under the front here and just pull up. There's two plastic clips on each side and then now you can basically pull the rear bench out. Just a little patience, no need yeah. to break stuff. Gotta work your way around that the armrest in the back. Pull the stock seat. In case you need to get to the fuel pump. There it is. Yeah, the fuel pump right here. And now you gotta pull these armrests, side bolsters out. Cover comes off. I think usually they're supposed to be a plastic kind of a push pin that holds this in but it's missing on this car and basically once you have that cover off just pull forward on this little piece of bolstering and pull up at the same time and then it pops out just basically little clips that hold this in so now that that's done you have access to the stock seat belt point in the back and do the same thing on the other side and that's what we'll be installing the bottom half of the harness so you can see on the driver's side of the car it still has the stock push pin that was missing from the other side so just pop that out all right so basically you just take a small flathead or punch or anything and just press down on the middle pin right here you hear that click and then basically you'll be able to pop it out all right all right so after that pin is out there is a little cover on the side that you'll need to pop out for the rear window vent and you just take a small screwdriver pop it loose like so and now you can take the cover off and that piece stays with the rear window regulator for the vent window. Yeah, it's missing on the other side. <laughs> oh. Thank you. Oh, well, there's that. All right, in comes the harness. All right, so if you're running the quick, thri quick fit as well, you wanna bolt this back part to where the stock mounting hole is for the rear seat belt, like that. So it's just a, I have no idea what size it is actually. All right, so you're gonna use a T50 Torx bit to take the stock bolt out. Bottom half is out now. So you replace the factory seat belt in the bolt and you slide it in. You kind of have to bend the, the bracket down so it kind of follows the curve of the body so that we can get the stock seat and whatnot back in it. Just torque everything back down. And 
then now we put the side piece for the rear seat back in. Slide it back in there. Then you kind of push down at the same time. That way it catches in the back. And then put these covers back on for the window regulator. Does go on top. There we go. Clips in. Just gonna line it up. And then for this top pin, let's take this part off. That way you can put this bottom flat piece in first. Pop it in there. And then stick the middle part. And then here, clip. All right, we just did the exact same thing on the other side. Now you can see these will pop right out once you have the rear bench back in it. And just clip your harness to it. All right, put the seat bench back in. Pop it in and then Gotta make sure there's these little slots in the bench where you run this stock seatbelt through. Since we need these clippings for the harness, we'll make sure they're lined up right. Just push back, and then there's these clips not clips, but alignment pins, whatever you want to call them, that go into the hole here. Just gotta line that up. Make sure you pull through the bottom half of the harness just installed. Do a crack right here. Do the same thing on this side. And seated. Everything's lined up back here. And then pop in the front clips. Nice. So to install any sort of bucket seats or anything other than stock, once you have the whole seat assembly out, the same thing take the stock seat belt off and it's just a 16 millimeter bolt it just comes right off so we're just going to go ahead and remove this bracket so that we can mount the chair to the new bracket that's coming in all right so these are specifically the corbo dfx seats and um you have the option of side mounting or bottom mounting, but I want to use sliders. So these are the Corbo seat brackets specifically for the E46. And um, we're just going to bottom mount it and we'll end up using the back holes and then the most forward holes as well. So it's pretty straightforward. Just got to put these washers on between the, the bracket. Do the back first. Let's get these started by hand. So you don't cross thread. <laughs> it's really bad when you do that. Yeah. <laughs> we don't know anything about that, but we've heard. No. It's the best Loctite, actually. <laughs> so now that I have it started, just run them down. Tighten them down first. 
And then to access the front bolts after you have the rear ones on, you have to basically slide the bracket up. to do with the seat off the car. Is that all the way? All right, with the, the sliders all the way back, you can see the holes where they line up now. So same thing, just start them off by hand. So no spacers for these ones. Yeah. Just another note, the seat brackets are side specific. So make sure you're installing them on the right side of the car. Yeah, so when you get the seat brackets from Corvo, that's what this tape is on the other side. I'll show you on the driver's side, but it actually is labeled passenger side and driver's side. All right, this is the sticker on the driver's side bracket. You can see right there, it says DS, driver's side. Is this a cross through the Yes. <laughs> But in case if it's not labeled, you'll always see the, the seats actually mounted closer to the transmission tunnel. That's how you know which side the bracket's supposed to be in. So now, the bracket is on the seat. Now we'll move on to installing the stock seat belt back on, if you choose to do so. And then uh, I'll mount the other side of the harness as well. And the Corvo brackets come with a mounting location for when you run a harness. All right, we just got back from our second trip to Lowe's to pick up some 3 8 inch fine thread bolts that are going to fit into this bracket. Uh, Eric had used a bigger bolt already than the stock one for the old uh, base that he had seat belt uh, bolted into so the stock bolts would probably work we think but we don't have those so we're going to use those and some uh, lock washers to attach our seat belt on now so if you don't have hardware that fits that's probably what you want to buy yeah so uh, the brackets have a locating pin that goes into this hole for the stock seatbelt. So you just line it up and then run the bolt through and some extra washer. So the one inch bolts ended up working perfect. Shouldn't block anything. All right. So now that's done, that side's pretty much ready to go. So our first trip to Lowe's today were these uh, M10 1.5 bolts. Um, they are actually a little bit too small for the mounting hole here in these I think what it actually will take is a 7 8 inch fine thread but they didn't have those so we're going to use this bolt with a lock washer and nut 
on the back to hold it in. So this is the other half of the harness that you just mount up here. Just kind of aim it towards the hole. Just tighten everything down. Right. So now this is ready for the harness. All right, now we're ready to reinstall the seat. All right, so when you put it back in, put the stock harness back in. Make sure that's pulled out first and then line up these tabs and you just push that in and then it'll kind of cinch down the harness. So just be able to run that under the seat. And then obviously the front holes go on the studs. And then the bracket should line up with the back holes. After everything lines up, just put the stock 16 millimeter nuts on the front studs. Just finger tighten first in case of we need a little bit of wiggle room. It's easier if you slide the seat up forward and see the back holes. The other end's the ratchety. It'll be a lot easier. Yeah, it can't. It's like too close up oh, here right now. Get it over the top. Okay. Yeah. So do it the slow way first. You're missing. Yeah, it's just like... nothing. Okay, after four bolts are fully secure, we can go ahead and run our harness. So, these Side three. And then just pass the other side too for the lap belts. That is done. Basically what we installed earlier, just clip one side of the harness into the back here. Oh, and then the other side of the harness basically plugs into the stock seatbelt receptacle. 
and uh, basically here you can adjust the length depending on how that's going to work. I'll probably pull it out for now. with the adjustments a little bit. This is going to come down here a little bit after you uh, bolt the seats down. Or not bolt the seats down. Slide them back to where it goes. But for the passenger side where we installed the latch on the seat bracket the seat has holes for the harnesses I'm going to run it through and then basically you just Click it in like a normal seat belt. And then on this side, since it uses, I mean, these harnesses are designed for stock seats as well. So you just clip that on. Won't use the holes on this one for the lap belt on the seat. And uh, play with all the lengths, adjust them to how you like them. And that's basically it. So it's just four really easy clip-in points. You could take them in and out as you need them. All right, here it is installed. How's it feel? Feels pretty good. I don't think I can move a whole lot. <laughs> yeah, that's going to lock you in. All right, so both sides are done. Not too hard at all. And uh, this is what your back seat's going to look like with them installed. Really easy to pop them out and go back to your stock seat belt if you need to.